Okay, so we get a lot of questions. Uh, one of the most popular questions we get asked, in fact, is how much water should I change in my aquarium? Well, as a rough guide, we say as a minimum, absolute minimum, change 10% of the water each week. Once a month, change 20% instead of the 10. And once every six months or so, change a 50%. And that is the minimum that I recommend for even a lightly stocked tank. If you're running at a very highly stocked tank, then I go to 20% weekly and a 50% once a month, and you will see a massive benefit. Some of our systems we do as much as 70, 80, 90% water changes with livestock in, and you don't get any real ill effects. As long as you're not plummeting the temperature or swinging the salinity massively, you're not going to have any issues from doing a large water change. Now, some people say that with a hard hole tank, the corals lack stability and they don't like it when the water change. But that can only be the case if the water levels in your tank aren't matching the water levels in your salt. And your tank should always be made to match the levels in your salt. So whatever mag, out or calcium levels you're running at, they should always be pitched to be the same as the level in your salt. So then when you're doing a water change, you won't get any shock factor from doing so, even if you do a massive water change on the tank. And you'll find that doing water changes is one of the best and cheapest ways of improving your tank, especially on a small tank. Anything under 500 litres um, is very quick, very easy to do. If you've got a large aquarium, then it's worth looking at um, maybe improving your water mixing facilities or water storage facilities, and that'll make your water changes a lot easier. Also make sure that when you're doing water changes, use little pumps and hoses for all of it. Nobody wants to be lugging barrels around. Unless the tank is truly tiny, under 100 litres, you don't want to be lugging any barrels around. So, use a hose pipe specifically bought for the purpose to siphon the water out of the tank and get a small pump and a small a more hose to pump it back into the tank or at the very least pour it or siphon it into the sump and then use the sump pump to pump it back up. You'll find that that works a lot quicker, it's easier, it's less work and the less work you make it for yourself, the more often you'll do it. Mixing salt water is quite a complex subject though, it's not just a case of putting the right amount of salt in the right amount of water, there's quite a lot more to it, so make sure you check out our other video on how to mix salt water.